Today marks 125 years since women won the right to vote and thousands of people around the country got together to celebrate the anniversary. Men and women, young and old, gathered to remember the women who have come before and those to come as well. Last night, the founder of domestic violence support group The Aunties cleaned up at the Women of Influence Awards. Jackie Clark was named Supreme win Winner as well as winner of the community and not-for-profit category. Jackie is one of those people who sees a need and does something about it. She's worked for six years with victims of domestic violence, not those in refuges, but she finds them one by one and she organised all sorts of support with her social media skills. While her stock in trade is the kindness to others, there are some things that she is actually quite hardline about. There's plenty of work, of course, with police investigating a case of domestic violence every five minutes in this country. Three quarters, though, of all the domestic violence cases are not even reported to police. And that, I guess, is why Jackie Clark told me her day starts well before the crack of dawn. A typical day is I wake up around 4.35 o'clock. Um, and my day starts with e replying to e emails and messages that I haven't gotten to the previous night. Uh, it often is texts from women um, that I work with closely who may need something. There may be messages from women through the Facebook page who need support in some way or other, um, emotional support. And th that sort of continues throughout the day. <clears throat> um, I sort of settle down in the office for an hour or so and get admin stuff done so make sure the social media is okay and that I've got all the requests out on the Facebook page I need to get out and if there's something that, that I know will fly better on Twitter that I'm sort of I've written something for that um, and there's all the other like you know re boring stuff like receipt reconciliation which drives me <laughs> quick but it has to be done um, because I spend you know I spend a lot of money that's the reality I spend a lot of money on these women so I've got a sort of reconcile receipt. Um, and then I've normally got appointments. So it might be that I'm going to the storage unit to meet with a woman, or it might be that I'm meeting with a social worker. I sometimes am going to court with people to support them. I am, that doesn't happen very often, but um, I am sometimes doing home visits with women. My days are very random and really dependent on the woman themselves and who contacts me. Tuesday I always have a date with the New Zealand Prostitutes Collective and I go and see my friends at the Sally Army Transitional Housing Team every second Tuesday. And um, yeah, apart from, I have professional supervision once a month, but apart from that it's kind of usually talking with women on the phone, messaging with them, um, going on home visits, the storage unit's a big one, uh, if I need to go and get, um, I might need to go and get petrol vouchers for people. I might need to, yeah, go to the supermarket and, and buy some food for um, for going to lunch with women. Because I always, I always put the meetings around lunch. And That's go great. You want to you want to take them out and, yeah. and and have a bit of a date and 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 make them feel more what more dignified and and better about themselves rather than just meeting yeah, in a particular yeah. shelter or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I don't, I don't work, just so we're very, very clear about this, I do not work with any refuges. So I was doing that for the first four and a half years. I stopped doing that last year because the person who ran the refuge I worked with primarily uh, left. I still work with her and, and her other, um, she's a social worker somewhere else now. So I don't work with any refuges, just so people are very, very clear about that. Okay. Um, it's a fairly yeah. punishing schedule, though, and I guess that another important aspect of your task is that you are an enabler to get other people to give. You, you are putting requests out there for things. It might be a mattress, it might be a room, it might be clothes yeah. for school children. Uh, tell us, yeah. what, what makes a good giver? What, what, what do you like to receive and what do you not like to receive? And, and, and how do you feel about how people respond with their generosity to your requests? How much time do you have? So... <laughs> Um, I am really, really hardline about this, and I've been criticised for it, and I just don't care. Because what ends up happening if you do not specify, ex number one, exactly what you want, and number two, in exactly what condition you want it, and be really, really clear about that, and very hardline on it, is that you get given stuff you just can't use, and I've only got a st small storage space to play with. Jackie, you I know? was going to ask you, you support a lot of people. Um, some will be thinking, 
what sort of support do you get? What sort of support do you need personally? And, and how do you make a living? How do you get by? Ah, <laughs> okay. So um, two years ago, I quit teaching. We sold our house. We'd moved to Minadewa. And I'm going to be very honest here. We sold our house at Nadi for a crazy, crazy price. Crazy price. Not deliberately. It just happened to be that market at that time. That was what happened. Um, and so we were enabled to leave enough money out for us to live on for a couple of years without moving paid. So we've kind of done that for the last couple of years. Um, in May this year, the aunties board um, decided that they would pay me $24,000 a year and that the, the way that we would do that is we would ask people to subscribe um, to a, an auntie's charity bank account that was the people's account. So people subscribe to that account with APs, monthly or weekly, whatever. There's different amounts. Some people, some of the women that give and put money in that account are the women that I work with. So whether it's $5 a month or it's $100 a month, it really makes a difference. It's, it's just the number of people um, who've decided to do that is overwhelming. It's just wonderful. So, yeah, I get, I get that and, and I get um, another $800 a month on top of that, uh, which is not taxable for um, car-related expenses. So I'm my job is self, I'm self-employed. We decided, well, the board decided I wouldn't deal well with the rules around being employed. So <laughs> so I'm self-employed, you know, and so I'm paying tax on the money and stuff. Mm. Um, and so what we're looking for, you know, I'm not doing lots of networking and, and searching at options around how to get back to a, you know, to the level of a, of a proper salary, I guess, and to remu remunerate me properly for what I'm doing. Um, but that they're even doing that is just, to me, astounding. I mean, it's just astounding. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I can't survive. on What, what, we, what we got from the house is, was wonderful, but I don't want to, you know, you don't want to go through your savings. No, but it, it so, proves that they value they value what they're getting from you, Jackie, and right, you do a remarkable yep. remarkable job. You've, you've received this award. You have a little bit of a platform now, um, which is great. So what's your message to New Zealand? I've got two messages for New Zealand. The first one is give with love. Don't give somebody something just because you don't want it anymore. Give it to them because you've asked them if they need it. Don't ever give without asking. And, yeah, you, you give with love, and that means thoughtfulness and care. The second message is family violence, domestic violence, is much, much more complex. It goes across all strata of society, and it's simply people being really awful to each other. That's it. What an amazing woman. Jackie Clark, Women of Influence, double winner and supreme winner last night.